I'm showing you how to get U Launcher for MCPE, which allows you to downgrade. So to get U Launcher, you want to head over to their official Discord server, which is going to be linked down in the description below. Together, actually, with my own Discord server, where you can find a bunch of clients and other things, and I greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, over here you want to scroll down until you find the app project section and then you want to go over to the releases tab. Here you want to download the bottom release which is going to be the latest one, just like that. Now as you can see in my downloads, I have Ulauncher, which is great. Now you do need to keep in mind that you need to have had Minecraft installed on your phone Whilst Ulauncher was installed to be able to use it, this is not some sort of bypass or crack Minecraft or something like that. You do actually need to own Minecraft to be able to use this. Anyways, I can just simply install this like so. Now as you can see, I have Ulauncher installed, so I can simply open this up. Now here I am inside of Ulauncher, and you'll notice that this looks quite a lot like Bedrock Launcher, except of course, it's on your phone. On the left hand side, you'll notice simply Micro Bedrock Edition, which is of course just default Minecraft. Then you'll also notice Atlas Client right over here, which is a Minecraft client for MCP, legit, made for PvPing, which is it's really nice client. Um, and I actually have a video on that, which I will link down in the description below as well. It's a great client, you should definitely check it out. As you can see, it comes by default default with U Launcher, making it incredibly easy to use with Minecraft. And in this settings area over here, you can find some general settings as well as links. Anyways, I'll simply use this just as vanilla right now. As you can see in this area, I can go over to installations and then I can find all of the releases of MCPE. As you can see, there's a gigantic list and there's even more if you also toggle on previews. You can really just select any version over here. In this case, I think I'll select 1.20.51 and it'll start the download for that. All of the versions you have will then show up under this saved tab. Now by default, in this bit right over there in the bottom, it's automatically going to show you your current Minecraft version, which for most of you will actually just be the latest version. Anyways, I can click on that and then I can click on all the versions that I have downloaded, which is currently only this one, just like that, and then it'll automatically go ahead and install that for me. Once again, do keep in mind that this will not work if you do not own Minecraft through the Google Play Store. Anyways, here I am inside of Minecraft. As you can see, I am on mobile, I'm on my phone right now, and I am using version 1.20.51, which is of course great. I'm not gonna go through the hassle of signing in right now, but as you can see, here I am inside of Minecraft on my phone using an older version of Minecraft. As you can see, I have the old buttons, the old jump buttons. I don't have the new UI yet that came with 1.21. And uh, yeah, that's basically that. It's really as simple as that. Don't expect some insane gameplay right now. Like, I'm on my phone. I think I've done this like two other times for a tutorial. And for the rest, I don't, I've got no idea when the last time was that I genuinely sweated Minecraft on my phone. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's really as simple as that. And really good use for this is to use stuff like clients or packs and the like that are outdated except we still want to use them. Uh, downgrading will also allow you to join, there's not a lot of them, but a few specific uh, version specific servers or realms for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Anyways, for the rest, that was basically that. Third person front, there we are. This is a lot harder than it is on, uh, on PC. Anyways, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do of course hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.